أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان خالقنا سبحان رازقنا سبحان خالقنا سبحان رازقنا سبحان من صور الدنيا بقدرته رب غني كريم لا شريك له بر له فرهيم واسع الكرم Glory be to the O God our Creator Glory be to the O God our Provider Glory be to the O God self sufficient over the world with thy might we thank thee we praise thee, we adore thee, and we give gratitude today for the creation, for the provision, and for the opportunity you are giving us to come here today, Friday, to give gratitude and worship to Almighty Allah. We thank you, O God, and we bear witness that you are the only God, the only one God beside whom there is no other God. We ask for blessings and praise and favor on thy holy prophet, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that has given all this guidance. Brothers and sisters in Islam, it is another Friday and I greet you with the best greeting in the world. The greetings of the people of paradise in paradise. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Meaning, may the peace, mercy, and blessing of Almighty God abide with you and abide with me and abide with all of us and abide with all those love, peace loving people all over the world. Amen. After this salutation and special greetings of Islam, the topic of our sermon today is the importance of prayers in Islam. The importance of prayers in Islam. And there are so many verses in the Holy Quran and also the Hadith of the Holy Prophet in which we have been implored by Almighty God that we should always direct our request, our needs to Almighty God at the hour of needs. And God always there to answer our call. May He answer our prayers. Allah said in the Old Quran, He says, وَإِلَىٰ سَعَلَكَ إِبَادِيَ عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبُ جِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّعِي زَادَ عَانِي فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُمِنُوا بِي لَا لَوْ يَرْشِدُونَ When my servant asked thee, Holy Prophet, when my servants, my, when my devotees who worship me as thee, about me as your Lord, tell them, فَإِنِّي قَرِيبُ I am very close to you, I am God. But I'm not far from you. I am closer to you than your jugular vein. I'm very close to you. And tell them, I answer the call of the callers. I answer the call of the worshippers. I answer the call of the devotees. When they call me and they seek for my favor, I answer them when they call me. But, on the condition, let them, the worshippers, answer my own call as God. When you be be, let them, second condition, believe in me and their love that when you ask favor from God, you should believe that God is capable of granting that favor. When you worship Almighty God, you are not supposed to exercise any doubt at all. You must believe and your faith will actually 
materialize, but you cannot pray to God and you exercise God, maybe you will accept my prayer or not. God is not like that. God is capable. God is able. You pray to God, believe in Him, and have faith that that prayer will be accepted. And Allah will accept that prayer. May the Almighty Allah, the most glorious, the highest, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most glorious and the highest, may He accept our prayer. It is only when you do that, that then you may be guided aright. That is the guidance to you about the prayers in Islam. You can see that some people have doubt about the prayer they do to Almighty God. But the conditions and the conditionalities of making prayers in Islam and acceptance of prayers are clearly laid out in the verse which I've just recited to you. But when you can say that when my servant asked me about asked you about me, Lord, whether I accept the prayer, tell them that I accept the prayers. And I grant the request, but on condition that you answer the call of God. There are so many calls. The call of God that you worship God, the call of God that you believe in God, the call of God that you observe salah prayers which you are observing, the call of God that you are righteous, the call of God that you fast. The call of God that you go to Mecca, you have the means to do so. So many you to answer the call of God. And God said, if you answer my call, I'm going to answer your call because I'm very close to you. Then the Quran goes for us to teach us who is God? How do we make our prayers to Almighty God? It says, Idi Allah, Awidi Uramana, Ayama Tedu, Falaulasma al Husna. ولا تجارب الصلاتك ولا تخاف بها وابتغي بك ذلك السبيل The Quran command you thus Pray to Almighty God or pray to the most glorious God the most beneficent God أيام تريوه فلا أسماء الأسماء As you pray to Almighty God he had the most beautiful name. He had the most beautiful names on earth. And, Patabarakallahu, Patabarakallahu, glory be to God with his most beautiful name. Then you can call him with his most beautiful name. Some of you might have crossed a list of his name, the nine names of Allah. You can call him with his name. You stand from the cross of Allah, the Zila, Ila, Illahu, Ali, we give you a Shahada, who are Rahman Rahim. He is Allah, with whom there is no other God. He is God, no man but He. La Ila, Illahu, Rahman Rahim. No king, no master, no controller, no creator, no sustainer of the heavens and the earth, but He, Al Rahman the most beneficent and Rahim, the most merciful. Wallahu does he lie la illa who? He is God. With whom there is no other God except He and Malku, the sovereign, Al Kudus, the holy, as Salam, the peace, Al Mu'minu, the faith, Al Muhaminu, Al Muhaminu, as Salam, the peace, Al Mutakabiru, the Almighty. Most compelling God, Subhanallah, Mashukur. God is holy and far above all ten gods and all ten lords, ten masters of this world that you associate with Him. God is the greatest. You can call Him with His most beautiful names. And the Quran goes further. When you pray, how do you conduct yourself? Wala tajari bi salatika, wala tukhafid biha. Do not shout, do not be too loud in your prayers, and do not be too silent to the extent that you don't know what you are saying. Your mind has actually diverted to other issues. Do not shout, do not be too loud to disturb other people. When we come to the Friday, Friday prayers, on the congregation day of this nature, you find many people reading the Quran. It's true you are reading the Quran. It's the word of God. 
But you read this in such a way that you disturb other people who are reading another part of the Quran. You are making your own request to God and you are disturbing other people not to make their own request. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. La ilaha illa wa Rahman. No, God is not like that. Read your prayers to yourself silently. God is all hearing. Inna hu samiun alim. All hearing and all knowing. He knows your needs. So, what that you mean as I can say you have to be moderate in your prayer. Between too loud and too quiet, you'll be moderate. Can you see the etiquette? The etiquette, the social discipline, the training the Quran is giving us here. Because there's no other religion where you have international, you know, gathering. The intercontinentalism, the, the international, the, 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 you know, the, the world gathering of any religion like in Islam, as we are here today, all of us can go to China, they are praying to us, we just go in and we pray with them. You don't say, I don't speak Chinese. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to face. I don't know how many rakats they are praying. The moment, the moment you enter into the mosque in China on a Friday, like you are here, you know what you do. If you leave China and go to South Africa, or you come to Latin America, and they tell you that this is Friday, every Muslim knows what you do. The sin and the blind, the poor and the rich, the leader and the servant, we all humble ourselves in front of Almighty God. So these are the conditions of prayers in Islam. Now, how you should not pray in Islam? You are not supposed to pray in such a way that you command God. Some people have the culture 